come tearing ass up the driveway. Bob Hud. Bob gets to pull. Bob versus YOLO, who do you got? <laughs> I'm gonna say YOLO. <laughs> You're gonna say YOLO? I thought that phrase was out of style. folks we're going back to you me and the tv and <laughs> i feel like i was justified yikes what's going on season four of justified is coming to a close soon what what happened last time i feel like somebody died i can't remember anyone die well, Arlo died a couple episodes ago. Oh, that was a while ago. Found Drew Thompson. That's right. There's Sheriff Shelby. Right. And I called it. You did. And, uh, yeah. And then... That was really the most of it. That was the most important part of it. They just snagged Drew Thompson, and they're in the field in Harlan. That's right. But the Detroit guys... Theo, was his name? Nice Theo? Theo Tonin. Theo Tonin was coming to pick him up, but yeah. cops were there, so they... Yeah, I think it was... Theo's guy Joe. Yeah. Right. And uh yeah. And then Boyd's like, uh, we gotta get out of here. When Duffy's like, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, everyone's like, shit, we gotta go. We're gonna die. <laughs> and then Rayla's like, we gotta get out of here. Yeah. So uh all hell's gonna break loose in the next three episodes. Everybody's trying to get the fuck out of they town. gotta get back to what is it? That's the town they go to. Where where are they stationed out of? Um Lexington. Lexington, that's right. They got to get back to Lexington in one piece. Mm-hmm. So, oh boy, we might have a couple, Run fast. couple shootouts in this episode. Run fast. Next couple episodes. Well, should we jump in and see if they can get out of Harlan alive? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us for Justify. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Only comment, access to polls, subscribe, our sex. Links down there. Check it out. Let's watch Justified. Here we go. Shot Theo in the eye and left him for dead on a runway in Panama. Mr. Tonin would like you to find Drew Thompson. It's not a problem. We found Drew Thompson. That was a jarring cut back and forth. <laughs> One frame with Duffy's just fine, and the next frame there's blood all Let over his know. face in the window. The marshals got to Drew before Nikki could. Nikki, not Joe. I knew what you meant about that we just gotta figure out how to get out of harlan alive drive fast you got a head start don't they what would you say if i was about to put 40 bullets through that beautiful vest of yours what are you waiting for oh you're cool huh i tried to keep it to four words you'll allow the contraction as one <laughs> yolo <laughs> that boy was running didn't get very far mm -hmm. You know who also didn't deliver? Win Duffy. Oh. Well, if you want Drew Thompson, you'll need Raylan Gibbons. And if you want Raylan Gibbons, you'll need me. And if you want me, I'm still going to need $500,000. Wow. God, he's ballsy. <laughs> Ooh. So glad you didn't ask for two million. What would he have done if he asked for two million? Our guys are with LPD Air Ops fueling the helicopter. There'll be wheels up in 15 minutes, another 30 minutes of flight time. We can't sit here for another hour. 30 plus 15, 45. The better part of an hour? <laughs> he was rounding up. They're fueling up a police helicopter in Lexington. This is the biggest case in Raylan's career. He will not wait on an airlift, he will drive. Who told them that info? We send all our men there. Just one man, my man, Colt. Not alone. I give you the shooter, a good one. Colt? Mort. Mort, Colt. You're sending Colt in? What? Here we go. At least I ain't gonna die today. This boy figuring he's Expendable after I guess the whole so. issue with LMA. I'm 
Mm, they're running. One abandoned car beside the road is no big deal, but two so close together, that's weird. That's Kentucky. How about a third? Are you sure about this? Oh, I know. I'm just having a full-blown PTSD episode. <laughs> well, you got Colton, who's been overseas, so he's probably setting up something he's experienced, right? I guess maybe I'd just like to enjoy the view for a while. We have a view. How many years you live here? I get my head down going up. Rails nose in the book. You, a reader? Hardy Boys, Stephen King, whatever. He really liked Dreamcatcher. Oh, yeah. Until he had to start in the movie. Mm hmm Got his dick bit off. Poor guy. I thought, who the hell stands in front of a whorehouse reading a book? Turned out some boony rat in his unit had slipped him LSD. He was trying to find the guy's name in the book so he could castrate the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> we hit it off. He told me to look him up if I ever got in a jam. So Art and Tim left. Him and Rachel are still there. The decoy escort? I imagine. I have the cowboy in the follow car. Marshall driving the SUV. No sign of Drew? Too much temp. How could they pull this off? Boyd has an Iraq and Afghan veteran in his crew. Colton Rhodes. Boyd likes to blow things up. I'm writing a book set in Iraq. There's a chapter where a convoy of military police is transporting a criminal, and uh, Lieutenant Dan, he's our main guy. He gets a bad feeling. Yeah, Force Gump. Huh? There's a Lieutenant Dan in Force Gump. Oh, shit. You're right. I'll change it. <laughs> <laughs> How about you have him go into a bar and pick a fight with some rangers, and he sends a couple of them to the hospital? It's not a fantasy. Anyway. <laughs> you want to know the sad part? Oh, there's a sad part? Yeah. Because they were so afraid to move, they never found out whether or not the cars had explosives. So basically, they all died from being pussies. Says me it's a bluff? So what do we do? We move. <laughs> Tim versus that sniper. Holy shit. I don't like they it. Circled the wagons. Wasn't expecting that. I don't like it. Tim's a better shot. The sniper knows where he's at though. He doesn't Tim doesn't know where they're at. It's a decoy. Mm. You can't catch a break, can you? Well, I got the convoy, right? It's just that the man you're looking for ain't in it. Yeah, right. YOLO. Go to the old man's house. He won't be there. That's a comment, not a solution. What's the alternate route? Don't know. Or alternate pickup spot? Looks like a school. No. We ain't in deep shit because my alma mater is a flawed redoubt. We're in deep shit because of you. That's a big high school. Got a big old auditorium like that. Did you give him a smile and a thumbs up as he stepped out, knowing you'd rigged his shoot and he was going to his death? I took no pleasure in what I did. Plus, the world's a much better place without him. That how you justified it? Frankly, yes. That's your... <laughs> hey, Raylan. I'm at Arlo's. The motion detector went off. Yeah, no, it's all right. We were just there. Hey, where are you? What's going oh, on? Oh, shit, Bob. Bob's gonna die. Everett's high school, would you? What? Well, they're having trouble with wire thieves, so they asked me to put in some motion detectors. Oh, oh no. He knows where they're at. Truck come tearing ass up the driveway. Bob, hide. Bob gets to pull. Bob versus YOLO, who do you got? <laughs> I'm gonna say YOLO. <laughs> You're gonna say YOLO? I thought that phrase was out of style. He says he's a constable. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> well, I just checked his cell phone and it said he called Raylan Givens five minutes ago. Wait a second. <sighs> the helicopter's not landing there. Where is it going to land? There's a thousand places. For anybody else, but not for Raylan Givens. Does Boyd know where he would go? What is the coolest, most awesomest thing ever happened to us in high school? Uh, holy shit, you're right. The astronaut. 
The astronaut. And what was he flying? A helicopter. A helicopter. The deputy U.S. marshal is going to gun up and hole out in the school. Uh, it's in the town of Everett's. It's empty. It has been so ever since they consolidated. Let me take your man here. What's your name? Picker. Picker. If you will let me take Picker. Picks his nose a lot. Definitely. <clears throat> you, only, you only live once. That's true. You only live once. And you know when I say it? Shit, shit's about to get real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Like Drew, the the the, the, the doctor on TV. <laughs> Come on, tell me where he is. Like Nancy Drew. <laughs> Jeez. Is Bob gonna break? Does Bob not know who Drew Thompson is? He probably doesn't. Right. Raylan never told him. <laughs> Drew Baca. Drew Baca. Drew Baca? <laughs> is that a Star Wars joke? <laughs> Where is he? Come on, Bob. Get your knife. Do they have Drew at the school? <laughs> Drew. Drew Satania. Drew Satania. Ooh. Come on, little guy, get up. Ooh. That's a bad artery. Was that Raylan pulling up? Yeah. He knew he was he worried about Bob. He left Drew? Yeah. Well, did he say anything? He don't wear it to school. No. No, he did not. Be able to walk. Hey, why don't you carry me? How would you carry me? <laughs> the thing is, they mentioned the school. Raylan should know. Like, if they're asking about the school, they know, right? Nobody asked. He doesn't know that they were asking about the school. I know. Bob should have mentioned that. When he asked, did you tell them where the school? But he said no, but they asked, uh, right? Because they're still on the way to that school. You best with a rifle or a shotgun? Whatever you care to part with. See, Rachel? There it is. That's his angle. There's something you need to understand. You are a criminal. You understand? You're on that side. I trust him. I do, too. Yeah. We need to get on it. That's what I'm doing. Molotov cocktail, huh? It's a long throw. When? You got your gun? I, I got, yeah. Take Yoda's. YOLO's. Whatever. You got to... Yoda's. <laughs> it was a big deal. Went up to the moon. He swung the golf club, Raylan. He drove the car. Raylan, I was one of them space flight. Pretty sure I'm right on this one. He drove the car. I'll bet a dollar. Well, I don't have it on me now, Raylan. For Christ's sake. <laughs> Why don't you come back when you got a few more guys? Meantime, I'll be upstairs. You want to continue this conversation? I won't be too tough to find. She's a little more fair-minded. Not today. As long as you're inviting people, make it a party. <laughs> Great. You got it handled, right? I figure it bought us maybe five minutes. If I was Raylan, I would have taken out Picker right there on the stairs. He had the upper hand. He had the high ground. Mm -hmm. Well, damn! That's your girl throw. <laughs> oh, shit! We got it there. Well, I think if there'd been explosives, it would have been bigger. Well, now they can go back, huh? Holy shit. Let's go! Let's go. Oh, all right, man. I was wrong. Drew's there. Where? Look between the SUV and the marshal's car. I don't see anything. He's right there. It's not him. Oh, Is it Art? Does so he think Art's Drew? Perhaps. Oh, you're right. That's not him. He's, he's gonna shoot, shoot that guy. His gun. 
What's Colt doing? Getting out of dodge? I don't know. <laughs> I don't Is know. Is he running because he knows Boyd's going to kill him? Could be. All the bad habits I tried to quit. Smoking was the hardest, as you can see. What's she trying to do? I don't know. I would like to have a drink with this. One hand full makes the other one feel so lonely. What is she doing? <laughs> How many dicks you gotta suck to get to the top of the food chain around here? It's gotta be a ton of dicks. It's gotta no, just the one. <laughs> just the right one. <laughs> Extraordinary vacuuming skills. It's gotta be, right? Is that why they let you run the whorehouse? Mouth vacuum? Yeah, that was a, a second joke. To answer my question, how many tweaker dickheads did you have to suck off before you got to this wonderful... Jeez, Johnny might defend her honor. <laughs> you know, your boy there, he's, he's got a real heart of a champion. He is willing to do whatever it takes to get... Is she gonna light it on fire and throw it at him? Brandy is very flammable. That's probably what I'd try to do. She's got her lighter. She doesn't want to do that. Wait, you're, you're serious? I thought you were playing a... Oops. What's going on? Ava, don't listen to a word. No blame. Is what you're saying is that you want a blowjob? I always want a blowjob. <laughs> At least he's honest. Ava, Ava, don't. Oh boy. What you started? You gonna shoot me? Try to understand. Oh, you... <laughs> don't explain. Just shit. Oh jeez. I love you. Oh, that's sweet. Wow, okay. I see what you like about her. Probably. <laughs> Jeez. Well, where's Ava gonna go? Get Boyd and be like, you're about to get backstabbed even if you do help him? I guess. Raylan Gibbons, are you in there? The principal's office, huh? I thought the metaphor was that. <laughs> well, they got a chair in there with my name on it. You think they would as many times as I walked in that room? It's funny because wasn't he in a show called Vice Principals after this? <laughs> he is right. Drew's not here. had not been here for some time. You want to come in and take a look? I don't mind. You just do it real slow. <laughs> What's this play here? Uh, he's the man who killed you, who? YOLO. Whatever. Him? People underestimate Bob at their peril. <laughs> Just keep in mind, Bob looks the way he does because he wouldn't talk. Him setting the bar so high, I figure I gotta hold out myself. So. <laughs> Where the hell are you going? Oh, you heard him. Drew ain't here and they ain't gonna talk. And you wanna stay and kill the marshals, that's on you, but that ain't what I signed up for. You promised me too, Boyd. You can count on it, Raylan. Oh, geez. So where'd Rachel take, uh, Drew? Don't know. You think you need a car or helicopter to get out of Harlan, but there's another way. An underground railroad? The mines. Train. Oh, train. Train. <laughs> mines? <laughs> I thought they were they going just through. ran through the mines! they were going through the mine shaft. Coal train, but... All right. Okay. Bob proves his worth. Yeah. Good for him. Doesn't break. No, he really he gets really his knife. Pulled it together there. Beef stew. Loved it. There we go. I was hoping to get a little shoot out there, but nope. I was really afraid Bob was going to die. Thought for sure he was going to die. In fact, yeah. look at him. Uh, his character came full circle now. Mm -hmm. You doubt him all season. Really proved himself. When the stakes get tough, Bob gets tougher. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, uh, what's Ava up to? I'm sure she's just trying to find Boyd so she can be, run. Be like, uh, Johnny betrayed you. Yeah. Theotone's guys are going to kill you. Mm-hmm. Better go. That's what I imagine, but... 
Who knows? Maybe she's got another plan. So we got two episodes left. Rachel and Drew are on the train. And uh, I guess they're going to have to catch up with them in the helicopter. They still got to get to Lexington to be safe mm -hmm. and get him in custody. Secure, secure location. So, hmm. I don't think the chase is over yet. Probably not. Yeah. And I don't think jail's a safe place for him to be either. No. I mean, there's somebody feeding them intel, too, from, like, there's a helicopter f fueling up. Or maybe they just have somebody yeah. spotting or somebody giving intel. Radio frequencies. I mean, we know the knows. FBI has moles, mm -hmm. but I don't think the FBI is in on this mission, so. Well, let's watch mm -hmm. the next episode and find out. Ready for more? Yeah. Let's watch more Justified. Let's do it. Previously on Justified. How many tweaker dickheads? Did you have to suck off before you got there? I'm still a little disappointed she didn't light him on fire. Yeah. Talking about sending me to Washington to meet the director. Oh. Most of the time. Yeah. Just got him safe, huh? I guess so. In case something happens to either one of us, so I'm just, I'm going to need your signature. Okay, I will. It's kind of important that you get it done before she's born. Yes. Oh, no. Divor divorce papers? They're not married. They're not married. We need to, like, sign away his rights. Gotta hope he's paying attention. I don't know shit about girls. That is so sweet. Look, um, let me call you back. It's, uh, great news. I don't know. She doesn't, I don't think she's doing that. She's being too nice to him to what be What other paperwork would you need to sign before a baby's born oh, to protect them? She's, like, them. smiling about him being happy about things. Like, it's not, well, she's absolutely evil. <laughs> You want to change the terms of your deal? Or why don't you talk to the people who are going to be most pissed off about it? It's not an unreasonable request under the circumstances. We'll decide what's reasonable and what isn't. What are we talking about here? Wants Raylan to do it? For a woman. Eve Monroe's already under Martin. No, we're not okay. talking about Monroe. No. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. And I said I'll do what I have to to keep her safe. No deal until she's in custody. Fine, go to prison. Sooner or later. You are going to talk. Just so we're on the same page, what woman are we talking about? <laughs> Is Raylan going to change his mind once he hear it's Ellen May? Because he's kind of got a soft spot for her, too. Man, you have no idea what the hell you're even talking about. They got like 50 guys out there guarding that place. We've seen them. So why don't we just lie low and see what Nikki Augustine's going to do? Because Ellen May ain't going nowhere. No, that's exactly what Johnny wants. We can't right. wait. But he's right. We're running out of time. Wait! I'm sure why Ellen May is such a priority for the, the situation. She shouldn't be. Yeah. Unless they think that if they have her, they'll have something over... He, who, but he's already in custody, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. With everything twirling and uh... Maybe they think if they threaten her that Shelby won't talk? A man who speaks out of both sides of his mouth deserves to have it permanently shut. Who said that? Boyd Crowder. <laughs> I just did. Right now. I mean, they're the only ones that know that Shelby has an LMA. Right. Before, right? So, but they're trying to still smooth over Theotonin so yeah. that they don't die. Right? Uh-uh. Drew Thompson and the hooker with a heart of gold. What do you think it is with him and that Audrey's whore? Do you think she's Julia Roberts and he's no what's his name? Richard Keir. Days. I ain't fighting the suspension. You know, suspendees don't get to choose when they get suspended. That would be called a vacation. <laughs> I'll take Rachel and Tim. I'll take them both. Well, that's big let me do this. Let me finish what I started. He's gonna let him do it. Yeah. Lately, there's been some noise that Drew Thompson is gumming up the works of his deal over some trailer park bunk bunny he wants protected. So it's the DA? Is it the DA? Who else would know about it? Yeah. Well, there was those two other guys in that room, though. Mm. They were talking, right? I don't see the DA beating them all. Fools from Detroit that boy's got the wrong side of. Well, you thinking you could fare better than him? All you need to concern yourself with is, do I have the cash? Do you? Well, do you have Ellen May? I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what's going to happen this time. Nothing. 
Right now, Limehouse, wait. No. Goodbye, Johnny Crowder. Man, that's smart. Limehouse knows you shouldn't trust Johnny. And what you're up there? What's the plan then? I'm gonna stick a gun in Limehouse's mouth. Tell him we have Emulex tucked underneath three houses in his holler. I just can't remember which one. He doesn't give us Ellen May. I'm gonna have Jimmy here push a button. Come Thanksgiving, he can serve all the dark meat he wants. Oh, gross. It's fucked up. Arrangement. I have yet to hear what's in it for me and mine. Now how about I get you the money to get Ellen May? And give you your cousin Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call a sweet deal. Is it though? I feel like Nikki's like, uh, I can't really trust Johnny. Boyd's actually come through in some sense. Nobody's shooting anybody today. It's everybody Wednesday here at Johnny's bar. Everybody except Johnny. Why do you let Eva go in? While well, you apologize to me, I think the offended party is standing right there. That's why. Mm. What's well, an apology for Eva? It's no excuse, but uh, you know, when I find myself sometimes in a bar like this, I'm, I'm not my best self. She was talking a lot for no good reason, yeah. so. I don't know what her play was. I don't either. <laughs> Why you're cutting off the tail of my cousin and offering him up is opaque to me. I'm going to need Google Translate on my phone if I'm going to keep talking to you. Doesn't make sense. You don't make sense. And why, may I ask, do you want Ellen May? Shelby won't testify unless she's safe. They want to leverage her. <laughs> ah, no talking. Why, well, cousin Johnny, you hadn't even had a chance to enjoy the fruits of your betrayal. <laughs> Witness, Limehouse don't like white people, and he hates you. Now, I'm the exception. So the only way this works is if I go up there and I make this deal. She's not wrong there. Yeah. All I want is the whore. Is Rayleigh gonna meet her there? <laughs> oh, he's already there. Is Limehouse gonna give her up? She already said he was. He was gonna protect her. He told her he was gonna protect her, right? He said he was gonna let her go. I don't think he's gonna give her up. To... Hello, U.S. Marshal Dark in my door. I got to consider what it is I'm about to lose. Well, maybe we just came up for a little pulled pork. Yeah, well, this one over here, maybe. But you crackers wouldn't know pulled pork from pig bone. You calling me little sister like you putting me in my place. Well. You want to find out if you insult me enough, I'm going to break rank and put you in your place? Keep talking shit and we'll see. <laughs> Who in the hell is this? He's going to back me up. I got to put my boot up your ass out here in front of everybody. <laughs> Walking mm. loud now. Mm. You think she got any bite? Mm. Mm. How long until she bites? Not much longer. So we are literally searching every outhouse, doghouse, henhouse, just on the off chance she's here. <laughs> you already let her go? I don't know. I told the guy I was going to toss the joint. Can't just be an idle threat or I'll look like a pussy. Plus, he was rude to Rachel. <laughs> Some Harlan County Safari? Because you'll keep a level head. She's out of control. You saw her back there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not wake up this morning thinking today was another opportunity to mess up some bad guy's day? I did. Where, where's Raylan going? She's going to go look for Boyd? She probably stopped by. You let her go. Where? I don't know. <laughs> Are you going to have peace of mind when this is all over? I think that seasoning salt behind him on the shelf said Bubba. Bubba's? Probably a little Easter egg for him. Mm -hmm. Did he really let her go? Apparently. You can't be here. Look, you always said I was your face. <sighs> What an idiot. You hear that? You know what that is? I don't hear anything. Exactly. They fly drones now. Yes. <laughs> no. No. He's not drones. Oh, shit. Probably scared him off. He's probably long gone by now. That drill bit was probably a little much. Sorry. I got you now, assholes! 
<laughs> oh shit. He didn't just start shooting? Boy, drop the gun, put it down now, I swear to God. The cops had a hard time bringing them boys down. Do you remember what their only weakness was? Yeah, I remember what their weakness was. They ran out of bullets. <laughs> Where is she? Now where'd she go? Don't do that. Don't even think about that. That ain't gonna end well for you. Probably got something to do with Shelby. When we're done, he's trusting a chair here. Why don't you get Boyd on the phone for me? Why don't you kiss my dimpled ass? I don't see how that invitation has anything to do with my request. <laughs> Such a dick. My job, being a dick. It'd be weird if you liked me. Now. Oh, somebody else is making the phone call for him. I need you to take Nikki's men to the church where Cassie is. LMA should be there. Good plan. Small problem. <laughs> was that the marshal in the hat? It was. What was his name? Raylan Givens. We got to go. Hey, Raylan, what about me? What about you? They'll get me, even in jail. You count on it. I helped you get Drew. No, no. It's up to her. I'm late for church. <laughs> What's Rachel decide? Jesus, please help me find a way out of this. I swore up and down I changed my ways. Oh, she's just asking to get caught. She's going to the she's dumb. two obvious places. She's real dumb. She's a sweet girl. She's just real dumb. I think God let me out of that room for me to come so I could be washed in his blood. Jesus' blood, I mean, not the man I was party to killing. The man we're talking about here, LMA. Oh, no. Those people making choices all down the line, Ellen May. What choice are you making? You kill her, you gotta kill me, too. You willing to have two murders on your head? You got no idea what I'm willing to do. It would be three. After, what's his name? I'm standing right here, and I know what I gotta do, but I can't. I'm so sorry, Boyd. It's just not who I am. Maybe you do what you gotta do. Colton will kill her. It's fine. <laughs> now he's called Colton. Colton, no. Stop. Right where you are. Drop the weapon. Move away. Ooh. What do you think you're doing? I'm smoking. So you did kill him. Collateral damage. Tim do. He's gonna have to shoot him because he's not gonna. I guess I'll quit today. We'll double tap him. Whose glasses were those? Colton's. Were they his buddies though? Did Colton take them from um, his buddy? Maybe. Yeah. Do you think maybe I could see you? I think you've had us jump through about all the hoops we're willing to. Is that Boyd? Where's Boyd? He's supposed to be. Yeah, that guy's bad. You involved in the shooting? Nope. nope he's just there to clean up. He's a bad looking dude. He was the one that was making a deal with. That's like three or four times Bennett, that he's. Right? Yeah, he's been in the picture where something's off with him. I don't know. Why you needed to do it the way that you did it. I respect it. Do what the way that she did what? She couldn't get her hands dirty. I don't believe in fate. I can't believe in fate, not anymore. There's still one more move we can make. Something we should have done a long time ago. When we get rid of Delroy's body. Delroy's in the mine shaft, right? So they gotta go. Find him. <laughs> He's still wearing his uniform. Don't mind me saying so. And you don't have anything that says who it's from. No, ma'am, I surely don't. Can I have the office run it down? Well, call right. you tomorrow. Oh no. 
My wife, when she had her first baby, I remember this gliding chair being a lot easier on her back. This is not good. I'm altogether sure that my ex-husband knows what is and what is not good for my back. Here, looks good. Let's pick her. Explosives in that chair? Probably. If they blow up Winona, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh man. So how did they find Winona? They asked what his what the cop's the mole, name was. The mole in the department. Could be. Right. Well, I mean you can find anybody, Raylan Givens. Who's his ex wife? Who's yeah. her next of kin? You know. Dang it. Well, so that's their leverage is mm -hmm. uh we're gonna blow up your wife and daughter or mm -hmm. you give us Drew Thompson. Right. Something like that. Oof. Meanwhile we have Boyd and Ava just cleaning up their, their mess, their body. I guess so. I don't see anything much happening with them. Nope. Hmm. So what's your guess? What happens to Drew Thompson? I have no guesses. Does he get out of this season alive? No way. No way? I don't think so. Like he sacrifices himself, Perhaps. gets turned over, just gets taken out, and it's all for not. I don't know. I'm guessing he's gonna live. And why Nona dies? No, I think they're gonna save everybody. Okay. And then they're gonna take out Nikki. And Somebody's gotta die. And his gang. Right. And then they're gonna send Drew and. Somebody's gotta die. Oh, May off into what sec. I guess we'll have to watch and find oh. out. Oh boy, these were some intense episodes. Mm hmm. <sighs> One more to go. How are you liking the season compared to the others? It's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tim finally got his revenge for his buddy. Mm hmm. He drew real quick, pulled off two shots real quick. Yep. I don't know why. Colt thought he had a chance or he knew he was done, so he was just going out that way. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what should people comment on after these two penultimate episodes of season four of Justified? I don't know. I hate TV questions because I can't ask any that. Yeah. I can't. I can't ask any. Were you expecting Bob to break or beef stew? Hmm. What was your expectations of Bob in that? His epic episode of holding his own. Yeah. There take you go. care of business. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for the season finale. finale. Yeah. And check out our Patreon Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full encounter, access to polls, subscribe to our sex. Links out there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.